Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so today we will be continuing our Roy Lichtenstein inspired portrait of our mom. I have mine here, so this is as far as I got. As you can see, I did red dots. It doesn't look that close. If I zoom in closer, you'll see it. I have red dots on the skin, on the ears, on the neck. Um, you can choose to do yellow or blue dots. And then obviously the hair would have to be a different color. So if you choose, let's say red hair, um, you could do, you could still do red dots, technically speaking, but you don't have to. Now, the lipstick is solid red, and if you notice, everything is outlined with black. The eyes are colored black. The hair is a blue black. Um, I did little earrings, and then I drew a few more flowers here. So, if we look, it's not the neatest, but there are blue dots in the center, and they're going to be red dots. And then this will be a solid yellow, because this mostly has non- yellow so I want to make sure so I'm going to just go ahead and continue that okay all right before I continue that I want we decided that we're going to do a mom sign so you want to do it in a space that you can see it I'm going to go ahead and do it over here so I'm actually going to go first with writing the word mom um, so that way that I can make sure it's not smushed up and it is sort of like sort of like 3d letters um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then over here, I'm going to do my pop art sign, right? That says mom. And the route that we're thinking of going, just so you know, is possibly paint a background. And if we do paint a background, I'm going to go ahead and supply that with you. So I'm going to just go ahead and do extra little things in between. And that's going to be an opposing color. So... That's how it looks, mom, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and color this a solid yellow because I have a lot of red, I have blue, I have black, and I wanna make sure that I do yellow. Now, because I'm doing yellow in the background, I am more than likely gonna have to paint my background, not on this, I'm gonna paint on a separate paper and cut this out. I'm gonna probably have to paint um, the the background red because the hair is blue with black and so I want to create contrast. I could technically speaking go the blue route because there isn't so much blue, it's mostly black, or I can go the red route. I haven't decided. The only reason that I can do that is because my red, it, my blue, I mean for the hair, is not that um, intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep coloring this yellow. I'm gonna do a marker because I ran out. Oh, I'm gonna use a crayon actually. You can always use a crayon um, when you're coloring the background part. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a crayon. And that will actually be faster. Oopsies, this is sliding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. So you can see that I'm coloring solid yellow. Um, if you're gonna be coloring with crayon, which I'm doing for this part just to make it easier for me, then obviously you don't wanna color you can't color anything on top. The problem when you color with yellow or excuse me, any crayon, what ends up happening is that you can't then color on top unless you're using a crayon. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue that. Um, hoping you can see. And I wanna get that nice and yellow. I have to start thinking about what I would want. Now it makes sense that if I'm gonna be doing a pop art sign blue, right? Um, then I wouldn't want this to be blue, right? I wouldn't want this to be blue. However, if I decide to go the blue route, which I actually am leaning towards, then I would want this to be another color that would contrast that. So I have to think that and mold that over while I color. You want to make sure that you are doing designs. You could even write words on the shirt. Um, again, I explained that I went the flower route because my mom love flower dresses and for the home she liked to wear those a lot so that's why i'm going with flowers um i want to see how yours is coming along so it'd be awesome if you could share how you're doing with yours and post a photo that would be great and that way i can also decide or give you some feedback as far as what would be a great color for your background. So remember, the background could only be yellow, red, and blue. I was thinking of black, but I think black is a little bit too plain, and we wanted to really 
look as colorful as possible. So I think having those three option is better than having it a solid black. Remember that we are outlining with black. So I would suggest before you color, you outline with your black marker um, just so that that can really stand out because to do it later would, would involve using a crayon and it won't be the same. So this is what I got so far. I'm gonna go ahead and color all the little red centers, right, red. And because I don't use that much red, I can easily make this mom sign a red. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to color the letters yellow. So I already decided that's how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because my background will be blue. I just decided that. I think blue would look really good. And I wanna make sure that um, when you're coloring the pop out sign, remember that you're still coloring in between the letters. So that way it'll look really cool and stand out. I can make my letters blue. Actually, I can. Um, the reason I can make it blue is because the background could be a solid blue. So I can actually go with blue dots here, which I think I'm gonna continue here with my blue dots. I'm using a marker for the dots because it just seems to be much easier than a color pencil, much faster. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This one is coming sort of like dots, not really line dots, but you can make it super neat. Remember when you're doing the skin, that's really where you have to go with the dots looking like lines of dots because that would make it neater, see? Um, this actually, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this. See how we're doing with time. I'm trying to go pretty fast, but you should definitely take your time. So where I want you to be at this point is at least finishing this part um, and posting a photo of it. So that way we can just see what we need to do in terms of color background, um, how big your paper is, and just see, like for the background, I was thinking of construction paper, I think, but what I think would actually work even better is having a painted background. It will be more fun and it would also allow us to paint and give us the opportunity to paint. So that would be fantastic. Um, I'm doing my dots. Okay, I'm almost done. Yeah. Done. Okay, and on this mom sign, I'm gonna go the blue route, color that in blue. That looks pretty, kind of reminds me of the colors of Superman, which goes with the black, blue black hair. I'm using the same. I don't wanna go with this. So I'm gonna make these also dots, the back, the second background, because I made an extra layer. You don't have to. Most of the students didn't do that extra layer in the back, but I'm going to do that because I want it to have more than one layer. Um, I could have gone with yellow, which would work too. And basically, let's see where we're at. We're almost there. So you can see that so far, I'm almost completely done. I notice that these dots don't notice as much as those. So I think I should darken those. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna finish my mom sign so you can get an idea of how that looks again we're probably going to be cutting this out i haven't fully decided i'll let you know for sure um by tomorrow if that's where we're going um because i think that's where we are in fact going um and then again you have to color the background a color that contrasts with what you have so i have my mom sign colored i'm going to go a little bit darker with these blue dots so I'm going to press again because I don't notice them and they look different than the other ones. And I want them to look sort of the same size, the same amount of intensity of blue. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Do you see that? Okay. So again, you can see the dots of blue on the mom side. Probably would have looked better with yellow. I might actually just color that yellow. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Um, I really look forward to seeing what you got going. Um, please make sure that you share it with me. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.